Hey Mia. Um, I feel like I've been bursting with thought, and your your response has inspired me to talk more about critical thought mass and thought mass in general because I've been thinking about it earlier. We were talking about it, and I think okay, I have some new ideas about it. I think that I got a message. Oh, do I still have it up? Fuck. I got a message on Cross Mac account from this guy and he was talking about the physical reality and he was like they got it all wrong well he he was like fuck them this is what it is but you know they're not wrong they're just trying the scientists are trying we're trying we're all trying to figure it out but so I think what he was saying and now put together with what I'm thinking okay everything it, how to begin this everything exists I know how to begin it by just going. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about this. Manifesting this thought into the collective pool. But in order to create, in order for critical thought mass to occur, we have to explore what it is and why it's happening. And it's happening. Everything exists in particles. And these particles are coming into our physical reality at any given time and these particles are manifesting themselves. So it's not waves, it's not... Every, everything exists as energy on a level. Everything exists as a string on a level. So we believe at this point, but there is a unifying, something unifying that we're all aware of that we, that we have a hard time ex explaining. And I'm trying to explain it, so I, I'm not having a hard time explaining it. I'm going to man manifest that. You know what? I'm really afraid of this thought. I'm not afraid of this thought. I'm afraid of giving over to it. Our thoughts have gravity. They don't our, our thoughts control gravity, a portion of gravity. Gravity that's lost. I've already talked about this stuff. Now I'm going to go on to to the next thing. There's no fear. So everything is manifested. And I believe that our thoughts and the gravity that we control with our minds, we, we define, we decide what composition of energy is appearing at any given moment with our with our thoughts and our manifestation. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking do this. I'm gonna fucking do this. And I'm gonna stand up and do this. Because I'm feeling it right now. Is that good? Can you see me? I come full circle. Here we are. Thought mass exists, and energy is what. I don't want to rehash what I did in the old video. You know what thought mass is. Now we use it, in or and, and without realizing it, and we we manifest the energy around us to become a certain way. When someone walks around the corner and says hello. They weren't far away and traveled a path and then got there and then said hello. We manifested them to appear, although it seems to each individual that our experience is real. It seems that way, I know. But what's happening is everything is being created. Everything is being created. And our thoughts are a significant portion of what's happening. Maybe all of it. Maybe all of it. I, I believe this is a dream. I believe we, that we say things are going to happen and then they happen. I have a Pepsi commercial that I'm going to book. And then the, I got the call back tomorrow. They're calling me in for a, a role other than the one that I initially went in for. But I'm going to book it. And by saying it, it, it manifests and becomes real.
and I and I'm comfortable with it. And then the people that I see at the audition are familiar that I've said the words that I've that I've created thought mass. I've 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 created a gravitational pull with these with these people. They feel it when they see me. They're aware of what I'm aware of, which is that I am going to book this. I don't have to say anything. It happens. There's more to this. And I'm nervous as hell. I feel like... I feel like if I smoke weed, then my body will relax and I'll be able to figure it out. But that's... I don't need weed. None of us do. It's just... It's just like anything. I got really drunk last night and it was hung over today and I had the most amazing understanding of my reality. It, it humbled me. I was humbled because I was in so much pain and I, I realized I'm nothing. None of us are. But then we're everything and we are manifesting every experience that happens. Every single experience. Everything that happens. A movement, a shift in movement, something falls a light burns out, the phone rings, a car, you see a car accident, all of it, we are creating it with our thought mass, with our, with the energy, with the gravity that we control. And Dominic, when he's walking around the corner and I see him, he appeared from the ether, from when we're not around something, when, we're, when we look at something, it, it, it exists, but when we're not around it, it's, it, it doesn't exist. Each individual has this experience. And when we think of things, we manifest them to be without realizing it. So often without realizing it, but good God, if we listen to ourselves, you realize it. And that's why it's going critical is because everybody's listening to themselves. And a powerful force is in effect right now. We're not at the edge. We're over it. We're in a state of free fall. And this free fall is never going to stop. We manifest these bits of matter in and out, in and out of the dimensional existence with our thoughts. And sometimes you'll look and you think you see something and you look away and then you look back and it's something different and that's real. It is real. It is a, you see a possible, I see it, I know it, and I'm a little nervous talking about it because it seems a little wild, but it's real. You see a possible reality, and you shift reality. We all do, all the time. So what the whole point is, being aware of it, we can control it, we can focus it. We focus our own, our own control over this gravitational force by speaking it, by sending it out, by thinking it, by speaking it. Speaking it is unbelievable. It is action. 